grouping in Revit is a pretty convenient tool when you have a group of elements that are repeated throughout a project. Uh, it gives you the ability to choose just one of those um, elements, make your change, and the change affects the rest. Uh, a good example of this would be uh, cubicle furniture or um, also uh, column wraps. So we'll start out making a column wrap. Uh, we'll zoom in to an area to start. Use the wall tool. Choose 3 and 5 eighths, gypsum on one side. I'm going to change my line tool in the options bar to rectangle and draw one. I'm going to escape a couple times to get out of the wall tool. Um, I'm going to select these four walls that I just drew and go up to edit, pull down, group, and create group. We'll give it a name. Click OK. Um, now I'll escape a couple times to get out of that function. Um, now when I hover over these walls, um, the, the blue bounding box uh, indicates that it's now a grouped item. I'm going to select this group now and copy it into position. Um, make sure it's on multiple copies. Zoom in a little further. Click at that intersection and drag them out. And one more. Escape. Select these three. Copy. And drag them out. Looks like I forgot one. And escape. Now I have my column wraps in the location I want them, uh, but they're the wrong size. So zooming in, I'm going to select one, go up to the options bar, click edit group. Um, now I'm in a mode where I can start to change uh, this group. Um, the best way to move these walls would be to dimension them. So I'm going to choose the dimension tool in the tool tray under basics. Um, zoom in a little closer. Choose one side, the other. Escape. I'm just going to begin changing uh, these dimensions. On both sides. Then I click Finish Sketch and the changes should apply to all of the column wraps.